Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to talk about the book of Psalms. Do you have a poker face? Now, I'm not asking if you play poker. I'm asking if you wear your emotions on your sleeve. You see, I just don't have much of a poker face. Now, I'm generally an upbeat guy. People see it and know it. But when I'm down, perplexed, angry, or anything in between, people can tell. Now, maybe you're like me and you display your feelings. Maybe you express them with your words to others. But do you know that you can do that with God? God can see right through any show or any pretending. He knows where you're at. That's why I love studying the book of Psalms. Psalms is a collection of promises, prayers, praises, and petitions. There isn't any sugarcoating the words or feelings of the writers. It gives us a peek into an authentic and reliable relationship available to us with God. The book of Psalms is a collection of 150 chapters written by David, Asaph, Solomon, Moses, and others. It's likely that the Psalms were written over a 1,000 year period from 1400 BC to 400 BC. Now, as previously stated, the book of Psalms is a collection of various prayers, praise, and petitions. It conveys all types of situations and feelings. If there is one common theme in the book, it would be worship. God is worthy alone of worship. You see, God is God. We are not. God is the creator, sustainer, promise keeper, and father to his spiritual children. The book of Psalms is an intimate response to the person and work of God. These Psalms were used in temple worship and are used for worship today. If you look for Christ, you will find him in the book of Psalms. Christ is seen or prophesied throughout the book. We see the Messiah, or we could call him the Anointed One as the King, the Servant, the Son of Man, and the Son of God. Psalms contains five different kinds of messianic messages. Now, you simply just can't read through the Psalms and not see Jesus as captured in the Gospels. So, what's the main thing of Psalms? It is right heart and right worship. Psalm 19 verse 14 says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Friend, many of us focus on the wrong things. We fill our hearts and meditate on YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, political news, social media. Uh, we put off spending time meditating on God's Word. We don't spend time looking and spending time with God in His presence. We don't look, we don't meditate on God's faithfulness. We need to because this prepares our hearts. So what should the response of a right heart be? Worship. Psalm 145 verse 21 says, My mouth will declare the Lord's praise. Let every living thing bless His holy name forever and ever. Friend, God alone is worthy of a relationship. This starts with a right heart meditating on all God is. And as we walk through this life, we can come to God with all of our excitement, fear, anger, sadness, joy, questions, and doubts. No pretending, no poker face. God doesn't want them. They are not needed or desired in the presence of God. When we come to God as we truly are, preparing to worship Him, 
That is when we will win the day.